Hello everybody, this is Daniel Morrison, software engineer at Matrix TSL, and with me again today I've got uh, Ben Rowland, embedded engineer. Hello everyone. So Ben, today we're going to talk about uh, flow code from the perspective of an Arduino user. So why 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 would you use flow code as an Arduino user? What are the benefits to maybe think other tools like the Arduino IDE? And just a general sort of um, introduction, I guess, to, to Arduino users who are maybe familiar with microcontroller programming, but maybe not familiar with flow code as a product. And I think our video, this video here is going to be aimed at maybe people using Arduino as a hobbyist, but also people using Arduino um, for a course they're doing, so maybe in, in the realm of education. And, you know, maybe what, what sort of, what, what can Flowcode bring to your project or, or your sort of learning experience? See, uh, Arduino is very, very popular and it's, it's become almost a term for microcontroller. Right. Um, the whole maker movement seems to be centered around things like the Arduino platform, as well as maybe uh, the Raspberry Pi. So I guess in the same way that sort of PIC was synonymous with microcontrollers a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, it, it seems to have seems to have crept in there. And, and I think because of its its free nature, it's just been so widely adopted that um, it's, it's, it's very much um, all over the place in the, yeah. in the embedded world. Um, looking at flow code, you can see that we have s support built in for a number of the AVR-based Arduino devices. And we've, we've now created in, in Flowcode 8 a special um, Arduino chip type, um, just to make them a bit easier to find and a bit easier to work with. So I've selected the Arduino chip type, um, and I'm gonna, just going to select the uh, Arduino Uno from the list of supported uh, hardware here. Uh, I'm just going to use the Uno just because it's uh, it's quite a popular device. It's, it, yeah. I think it's one of the first ones that got released, um, and it's it's one that a lot of people will 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 go to by default. It's like the most widespread one, you say? Yeah, Almost, yeah. Um, under under choose target, I've I've selected the Uno. Under general options, um, we get the uh, option to select the COM port uh, for the Arduino device, and that's literally all we have to do to set up the project. Now, one of the nice things Flowcode does for you is it, it gets around some of the problems that you might encounter, such as syntax. Um, when, you're, when you're coding for an Arduino device in the Arduino IDE, it's, it's, it's often very easy to um, enter, you know, miss out a semicolon or um, get a, a function parameter wrong. Um, so here's uh, where Flowcode can, can help, really. So we've got a, a library of components up at the top. And we've got a flowchart window here where with flowchart icons down the side. So we can we can make a program and we can use libraries from our from our various components here um, and, and very quickly put together a program. So if I uh, just show you something simple, um, here we've got an LED. So it's just generally just a, a, a digital output. Uh, we can select which pin it's connected to. So um, we can say it's on, on port D, pin 4. Um, and you can see when I've got this uh, pin se selection window up, it's actually telling me which of the Arduino pins are which. Mm. So pin D4 is actually digital 4 on the Arduino. So it, uh, it tells you which, which physical pin maps to, to the, the pin in software, basically. Yeah, it's yeah. especially taking the AVR port and, and showing you which, um, which pin that maps to in the Arduino uh, scheme of things. And then we've we've literally got um, uh, component macros that uh, will talk to this component. So if I create a loop, if I use the turn on um, macro, we have a delay, and I'll make that to be one second. Then I'm going to turn off the LED and add another second delay. Now you can see that um, it's, it's very quick to put together. Um, I can click play and that should uh, simulate. Where have my panels gone? There it is. So there's our LED flashing on and off. And then obviously we can we can um, compile to the chip um, and it, sh it should run with, with obviously no, no syntactical problems creeping in. Um, what's also nice is Moving from an LED, I mean, you've got things like you've got analog inputs, um, you've got things uh, like keypads, like raster scanned keypads, 
you have uh, a, a lot of alphanumeric displays, graphical displays that, that should all work and simulate with the Arduino. You've also got under tools, um, you've got a number of peripheral CALs and these are these are free to allow um, to allow anyone who wants to um, generate components in Flowcode to, to do that completely for free. So they don't have to pay anything for it and um, you can basically do things like, well, if I want to make a specific component to talk to an I2C sensor or an, an SPI sensor or, or even our own display or, or anything you want really, yeah. um, you, can, you can put together a component completely for free, almost like um, creating a library in the Arduino software. Which you can then just send to other flow code users. They can drop it into their directory and start using the component as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can you can make it and you can share it, um, and it's it's it sort of allows the community ethos to to continue. Yeah. So here I've added a Cal UART component, and this just basically gives me UART functionality. So I can initialize it. I can um, I can send out uh, some bytes. So I'm going to send out a. Uh, a character H, and I'm going to send out a character uh, I, and I'm going to send out a character uh, of a new line. And if I then um, open the console tab, when I run the simulation, I actually get a, a nice console here that, sh that shows me what would be happening. And obviously being an Arduino, you could then download to the chip um, and get the same thing appearing in, yeah. in the Flowcode console from the actual hardware. So again, it's a really nice way of being able to um, create a system, not have syntax problems, uh, be up and running very fast, uh, to be able to simulate uh, the various, the various mm -hmm. um, bits that you're doing in your program. Uh, and to be able to make libraries that you can share with with others. Oh, so you're not constantly having to reprogram the hardware every time you make a change to your program and and sort of suffer through working out compiler errors and things. You can yeah. simulate yeah. your program and then when you've got it working well in simulation, then you can send it to your device. That's right. Yeah, and of course, while flow code is is primarily a graphical programming interface. We do have other ways of viewing um, your program as well. So in Flowcode A, we've got this pseudocode view. So if any any people are familiar with, with pseudocode, it's it's almost like a close to English representation of, of uh, a programming language. So those who are familiar with, with imperative written sort of scripted code, they, they can enjoy the benefits of Flowcode with the pseudocode interface, much and they so, can yeah. of course drag icons around. Um, obviously, this this changes the functionality of the program, so I won't do it too much. But but you, you get the idea. You can sort of manipulate your program in terms of code. Um, we also have the new blocks mode in Flowcode Eight, which is an alternative to the flowchart. So uh, if anybody's familiar with Scratch, uh, Blockly, those sorts of uh, programming paradigms, then that can be a bit familiar. And we have the traditional C code view as well for people who are really sort of hardcore and and want to program in in C. Yeah. So. Yeah. And of course, these these all these different views synchronize with each other as well. So as we make a change in one one of the views, you can you can see that it's been reflected in the others as well. It's so nice that the uh, the icon is, is is still highlighted in the different. Yeah. So you know what change nice. you've just made. Yeah. Um, and of course, you can view these at the same time as well. There's no. Um, so I guess uh, one of the, the principal um, goals behind Flowcode is to offer variety in terms of how you program your device as well. So yeah. you're not restricted to just just text, and you're not restricted to just one graphical style. So, so I think that that hopefully about sums it up. I think so. Yeah. 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 So ho hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and recommend you check out other videos uh, in this series as well. Yeah. Many thanks for watching.